Let's start by dragging down the first picture to the timeline. Crop to fit if necessary and extend to 10 seconds. Now apply border. Afterward, click and go to effect to adjust border size to 5 and blur to 0.55. Right-click to copy effect, then click to apply keyframe animation accordingly. Also change zoom level to 10 for clear view. Now apply keyframe and scale up by going to position and in the Y-axis type 1080. Afterward move playhead 1 frame forward. Go to the Y-axis again and type 161 to scale the picture down a bit but not completely or drag down as you see fit. Move playhead one frame forward again and go to restore back the animation as shown above. Again drag down another picture. Extend to match and paste effect earlier copied. So I will animate this picture to the right by typing 1959 in X-axis and 537 in Y-axis and also change rotation to 5. Also move playhead 1 frame forward and apply keyframe by typing 7 in X-axis and minus 242 in Y-axis for position. Again move playhead one frame forward and restore the animation as shown. Drag down another picture, paste effect and further animate. For the first keyframe animation, go to position. Type minus 1959 in x-axis and type minus 537 in y-axis. Then go to rotation and type minus 5. Now move playhead 1 frame forward. Go to position. Type minus 7 in x-axis and type minus 242 in y-axis. Again move playhead one frame forward and restore back the animation as shown. Further move playhead two frames away from the last keyframe on the third picture and apply keyframe and move playhead one frame forward again to type 1080 in the Y axis to enable the picture scale down. I am stopping my animation at the second picture. So to add more pictures and for easier editing, move playhead 4 frames forward from the last keyframe of the third picture and further highlight and copy all the three pictures and paste above as shown on the screen. Now press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard and drag down three different pictures on the pasted video on the timeline. And the pictures will change with the animation and effects remaining intact.
again move playhead 4 frames forward from the last keyframe onto the picture above and paste the pictures earlier copied and further hold and press the alt key as you drag down the picture right on them. I will be fast a bit now. It's the same process until the last three pictures. Now let preview. So I decided to add pan and zoom to each pictures for smooth movement as shown on the screen. Now let preview. Export the edit. Now import the export file. I noticed the black background at the beginning of the video. So I move my playhead forward and split and delete to ensure good intro. For the overlay effect, I apply lens flare and teal flare to achieve that. Thanks for watching, you are awesome.